Speed mode, accuracy mode, match mode. We've alluded to all those things. We have really had some conversations about those things. I want to kind of ask you to be more deliberate in how you choose your practice sessions. How far are you from major events? So if you're going to competitions, a lot of you guys are competing, which is awesome, well done. Keep at it, it's good for you. I don't care how well you're placing. If you are committed to getting better, this is the way, all right? Even if you're not competing, that's okay, right? Maybe one day you will. What is speed mode, right? Speed mode is when discovery time, that's experimental time. You're trying to push, you're trying to get new levels of performance that aren't currently available to you. It is those places and spaces where you're uncomfortable with something uh, that you, you can't do yet, right? So there should be a significant amount of failure rate, in my opinion, uh, if you're pushing to levels you're not there at yet, you will have some failure rate that's higher than you would want to stomach if you were close to an event that you wanted to do well at. So if I am three months away from uh, a major match, three or more months for me, if I'm three or more months away from a major match, or if I am in my off season, which the off season is about to come for me, I have one more major match in Ipsic Nationals in about three weeks then off season starts for the next three months or something like that, I will be 100% in, stuck in this mode of speed the vast majority of my training sessions, both on the range and off the range. And so I encourage you to find and understand what speed mode is and how it can be beneficial to you. You need to be focusing on things you're not very good at. You need to be focusing on things that you want to improve, some things that you're, you're not satisfied with in your shooting. So. Speed mode looks like, if you're doing, let's talk, right, draw is always the simple one. Draw, you start at one second flat. If you're, if you're happy with that, that's awesome. That's not speed mode. If you're happy with it, you need to be pushing 0.9, right? If you're, if you're getting some success, 80, 90% success, you need to push 0.8. You need to get to a place where you're failing like just about half the time or something like that. That is the place you're uncomfortable with. That's the pace you want to be pushing toward so that you can be more comfortable and more mastery level is happening at the times you used to be just okay at. Does that make sense? I am pushing the boundaries of speed. The, the, the quicker I can do something, right, the more I'm opening up the other end where like I was comfortable, let's say at 1.1, and 0.6 is very uncomfortable. Great, if 1.1 is comfortable and 0.6 is uncomfortable, I wanna get most of my training close to the 0.6 so that 1.1 becomes very boring. Not good, just good, right? You want the good to move down to maybe a 0 0.8, 0 0.6 is uncomfortable, 1.1 is like I am snoozing, sleeping, and I can do that all the time, every time, match mode, you can, I don't care what's happening, my draw is gonna be that on a 10 yard target or something like that, right? So and that's just an example, but speed mode can also be transitions, like, I, in, and I'll show you here in a few minutes some exercises that you can do in speed mode that, man, they look messy, it's kind of frantic a little bit, um, you're going to have a lot of failure rate, uh, transitions are a really good thing to make yourself push your eyes in crazy ways uh, in speed mode like that. Um, then there's that, but there's like accuracy mode that we're going to talk about and when you might use that. And then there's a match mode and what you might use that. But at the very beginning, I believe that a good chunk of your time should be in speed mode because you're trying to discover new levels of performance. Now, I wouldn't take speed mode straight to the range, especially if you're a new shooter. That's not a mode that you want to be operating in at the range until you know that you know that you know that you can be super safe on the range. You're not going to hurt yourself or anybody else. Speed mode. On, in the live fire sessions should come later in your development once you have very good gun handling skills, very good safety skills, you're not going to hurt yourself or anybody else. So just be very clear. But in dry fire, man, go as quickly and as uncomfortable as you want to. Like this is to develop new skills. This is your time to try new things. This is your time to find, maybe you've seen somebody that is able to do something that you would love to be able to do and you don't quite have yet, this is the time, this is the speed mode. Again, it needs to be farther away from major events. If you're a competitor and let's say this year you're going to area four, area six, some big area match, your 2024 calendar is showing you're gonna to go to area two. I don't know if maybe you're like an Arizona, California person and you're gonna to go to area two and I don't know when that is, usually it's later in the year, let's say it's October, November, something like that. Great, that means from now until next year, like maybe 
July, like when you're getting three or four months out from that, you could be in, in speed mode the vast majority of that time because that's the big major event. You're trying to find new speed, new levels of comfort, new levels of performance up until that time. And then we'll go into some accuracy mode and then we'll go into some match mode, which I'll talk about over the next couple of videos. So it's a three part series, I guess.